Let's carry on, Mark. Okay. We shall for your Akwaba. Wherever you are joining us from, we welcome you to Grace Congregation of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana Community 11 Tema. This evening, we've gathered here to partake of the passion of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And we see a baby, I will join you every BIA, Yamar Kwabas Christ from Koso. A Grace Congregation, Presbyterian, Presbyterian Church of Ghana, and Krabata, a Watama Community 11. And then you may Yamar Kwabas Christ from Koso say over Kaya Hona, Yina, yet to me, as I address you call. Oh, yes, Christ to Moja, if you go at the mamma, and if you be brave, be a chemo at the corner. We will encourage you to share the um, click the share button wherever you are, invite your friends, loved ones, and get everybody on board. Um, you know, a bit to me, you're better fennessy or better tons are afraid of bushing for a canina, no other kind of home. Don't share back up, na yenfa and bobo, a radia simly mo. Na yeah, I said you're ready by my new na a year in shra. Ain't he um one be a kuma cra? You be see it yes na ye the empire ball effi as yet. We shall begin with a very short word of prayer wherever you are. Kindly join us as we commit ourselves into the hands of the living God. Me, ye, why, to be woo, da, se, bre, pa, wo, pa, no, ma, me, na, ma, se, ma, ye, wo, fe. Now, O Doni, Sanchireni, Ne Vodum, no, Tramagini, Tufuni, O Inkesi, Yedawasi. Jiwaye semi kai mi boni kwanga mi bomuka pinua ema mi pe rimi trimda. Sevo chemi so ara na wukura mi hieni na woyeti mo bo mami enemen twe tu funi. Oh, he can see. Yet I was see. He was near Bompire. Ye young couple on your bank can see, and then you may go my other was see. Ye were in your comfort in your shield of Kukunyam. Ye can say, as Dan Kaudin, I ye in Kaudin. Ya can this be be a was de chia a yo at the wunku to and yet the bemawo. Tonight we say we bless your name and we give you glory. We give you the honor, we give you your praise. We declare that should anything exceed thanksgiving, O Father, we render it to no other person but to you and to you alone. Tonight we are so grateful for the privilege, O oh God, that regardless situations and circumstance. Technology still bridges the gap for us to reach the whole world, for us all to be a part of this gathering and this engagement. Wherever we find ourselves, if we are counted among the living, Father, we say glory and honor be unto your holy name. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and forget not all his benefits. 
Daddy, Lord, tonight we've gathered here in your presence. This message says the efficacy of the blood. Father, we are only mere vessels into your hands. All we humbly subject, all we humbly request is that as we subject ourselves unto thee, will you, may you clothe us with your presence, overwhelm us with your presence, overwhelm us with your spirit and your word. Wherever we are, may your spirit locate us. Yes, sure, say, and then you may share me. Amen. 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 Right, beloved, we thank you so much once again for joining us wherever you are streaming this event from. If you are joining us, you are part of the live audience or following us on Facebook. We especially welcome you for being a part of this. This is PCG Grace Congregation, Community 11, Tema. A year, Presbyterian Church of Ghana, Grace Congregation, and Krabata, a work on the 11th Tema, and and ne and you may the passion week at Swawo and Wufiwo, so here or phone, so so here or tablet, so here or TV, so wherever you are streaming this event from, we welcome you specially, and we believe that tonight you will be a blessing. Without much ado, I would invite our sister Vicentia Nasam to give us a song ministration. Beloved, open up yourself and trust me, you'll be a blessing. God bless you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. We just want to honor the, the Lord. And so join me with your heart and join me as we worship. To me, what to me, what to me, what Jesus, me more than more to me, what to me, what. To me, Jesus, ni mo ja ni mo ni mo ja na teu ya hu na na tum so a ti an kwa wa kuni wa di kuni. Ni mo jana ti kuni mo wadi kuni ni mo jana ti kuni wadi kuni mo wadi. Kuni wadi kuni ni majana ti kuni ayo di ma fo ma me ayo kama fo ma me Jesus Jesus ayo di ma fo. Mami, oh yeah, that was you. Yeah, yeah, mama. Yeah, 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 Nyam ye kwama ya da pasi anyume ya da wasio nyam ye kwama o ye hiwaya 
Hallelujah. Amen, Hallelujah. amen, amen, amen. We thank our sister so much, Vicentia. God bless you. God bless you mightily for availing yourself to be a blessing to us this evening. Yamisha Bibri, ye sister. Say Oma Hokwaina Erade and Amoso Amayin Nayesha and Ne and Radias Bibri. We are really, really, are really grateful to you for yeah. updating yourself for this administration. Order for send your kind of um yeah my yam reno and kubibri yang jum brenus bibri a radia seminal and yeah de a bro passion week a seminar say efficacy of the blood your software your minister in charge Reverend Lawrence Kwesi Titi Name S C no Kwan Strong Koso Emano Abbe Yin Sha Amameno the Lord himself has prepared his servant, our minister in charge of Grace Congregation, PCG Committee 11 Tema, Reverend Lawrence Kwesi Tete. Beloved, I will encourage you to prepare your heart, prepare your mind. Wherever you are, we will continue to encourage you to share this video to all your friends and family and let them come aboard. Without, without further ado, I will invite Reverend Lawrence Kwesi Tete to take over from me. Papa. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The peace of God, the Father, Son, and of Amen. the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brother Mark and all others who have joined in, the blessings of the Lord be with you. Amen and amen. 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 I'm very grateful to God Almighty that though we are not in normal times, yet we have the opportunity to still share the word of God. And I pray that God will bless us in his word. God will carry us on his wings. We are not in normal times. Yet God is still God. He is still with us. Obama, Oh, say, I eh, Nam ye guama, Nam ye guama, Wokum no, no, oh, say, I eh, Nam ye guama, Wokum no, no, oh, say, I eh, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for a day and a time like this. We ask that you speak to us. Let your glory, O oh God, be seen in our lives. Strengthen and quicken us and have your own way in our lives. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Dearly beloved in the Lord, I come with you, I come to your way with the word of God. Say, and yet lockdown ye and abba coronavirus at our Roma. And got this week a serious week for us, say Sabri Kayefia CSC, who I saw them na ye shepherd for the passion of Christ, celebrating the passion week as we prepare our heart for Good Friday and the Easter Sunday celebration. Unfortunately, we have a peculiar situation for which reason we have to use this medium to share a few thoughts on this occasion. And the theme I want to handle with is the efficacy of the blood. Efficacy of the blood. Efficacy of the blood. 
the efficacy, the word efficacy is also the power. But if you look at the real meaning of it, it seems that efficacy no more to across in the power. So we are talking about something a little higher and above the word power. So the efficacy of the blood, we are talking about the power, the inherent power of the blood. And the blood we are talking about is not any blood, but we are talking about the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, which is the reason why we are saved. That if that blood was not shed on the cross, man would not have come this far. We, you and I wouldn't have had salvation. But the blood of Jesus without blemish was shed on the cross, was sacrificed on the cross, so that humanity will be saved from sin. And that is why we have come this far. For today, we will look at the genesis of the blood, linking it with the blood of the Lamb Jesus, the Christ of God. Jesus, who is also referred to as our Passover Lamb. So we will go to the genesis of this whole story, and then we'll link it to why we are talking about the efficacy of the blood. And this has a link to Exodus chapter 12. You know the story of the Israelites who have been who have been in captivity for all that while. Now Israel for a And yet there came a time when their cry got to the Lord. Your cry got to the Lord. In Exodus chapter 3, we are told of how God in an angel appeared to Moses and told Moses in Exodus chapter 3, the verse um, 8, I have come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of the land to a good and broad land, a land flowing with milk and honey, to the place of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Perizzites, the, he um, the Hevitites, and the Jebusites. God said this when he told Moses that the cry of the Israelites had gotten to him. God said to Moses, Israel for sua wo sunu edumenu, enti maba semebe buawon. Now may they walk Moses and a ebe yes a jumano. Praise the Lord. So from that time, God did a lot of things in settling down with Moses. Moses needed to understand the fact that it was God who was sending him. And God sending Moses to the people, the people also needed to understand that God was the one who had sent Moses. And God needed to do a lot of things for Pharaoh and the people of Egypt to really understand that God had come to save the people of Israel. My, my dearly beloved friend in the Lord, I know that even in a time like this, and at all times and all difficult times, God comes our way to save us. And I pray that even in difficult and out of normal times like this, God will come to our aid and save us from situations that cannot be solved by human minds, by science, by human thoughts, by human calculations and human efforts, God himself will come to our way. Israel had been in captivity for over 400 years, but when the time was due, they could not move. It doesn't matter how far and how long you will be in that situation. When the time is due, God will come to your aid. All you need to do is to continue to trust him and believe that indeed he is God and he is a rewarder of all those who diligently seek him. And as you diligently seek him and wait on him and you are obedient to him, totally trusting him, I tell you that every no bed do na onyami pe ye umwa na onyami pe ti u e fi mpo chire mu na onyami drum ene na do ye no adon so e wawo so. So you know, God performed when Israel, when Moses finally got to the land of Egypt, God did a lot of things. One of the things when one of the things God did was the fact that um, he performed he performed seven 
outrageous miracles. He brought, uh, not seven, sorry, not seven, but ten. Ten outrageous miracles. I'm talking about the ten plagues. Hallelujah. God brought ten plagues for Israel to know, for Moses to know, and for Pharaoh especially, and the people of Egypt to know that God was in action to save his people. The ten plagues and or how I tossu dua or the call Mizraim for no sonno was the killing of the firstborn son of Pharaoh and all the Egyptians and even their animals, their cattle, their sheep, the firstborn, anything that had to do with firstborn was killed. But before that, God gave. Moses a direction to be given to the Israelites. And he told them, say, Israel, Nibiano. And this story is found. The, temp the template can be found in, and the story can be found in Exodus chapter 12. When he said, Israel, Nibiano, Israel, Nibiano, should look for a lamb without blemish. See, a lamb without blemish. Now, one fasa, Ogama, a fin, Nino, Honanka, Nino, Hono, one Kunu Nebus, Yanina. Any namono, nemo, nemo jano, won't fa any wonga apro ano as a sign that they will use the blood as a sign on their doorpost. Because in the night, Okumbo for the angel, the angel who will be going around to kill the firstborn will be going around. And whenever he gets to the door with the blood as a sign on it, it will pass. It will pass. Hallelujah. Exodus chapter 12 and verse 13. The blood shall be a sign for you on the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And no plague will befall you to destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. So God said, I will go. I, will, I am coming to strike the land of Egypt. To kill the firstborn sons. But Obi Obe Yo City na Obe Shisha Ogwama na Odi Ogwama ni moja Ebe ye asenso diye wone puno ano no Se okumbo fonu druwa Se mi druwa na se mi humo janwa Mi druwa na se mi humo janwa Se mi humo janwa E yen senchile ni nwa Me chemu mako Praise God Well It is common Sure With the people so, some will obey, others will not obey. Some will obey in the sense that Egyptians will be all no more. What best some say, young Koyan is that for no yen bin, and then away yen bin yen. Some of them will even do it to make fun of the Israelites, and the Israelites will do it. Majority, I believe, will do it. But a few who will be very skeptical about that will say the way creature is saying, those who will not believe in it, way creature is saying. And then they will fail to do. Any Israelite who failed to use the blood as a mark on the doorpost had the firstborn son killed. Because that was the instruction. Famujani Yawopunano, Nanya Sel Sodiam Famau, Naso Kumbo for Nudrua, Samia Safo that didn't mean Sumami Bofo Nasa Midrua. Number Tim Nasa was so yet in the one yet ya, and you Kumbo for Nudrua, firstborn son of that was the instruction. And so, beloved in the Lord, it will suck a seer. I will misery my successor. It's as a yet, you know, not firstborn, including Pharaoh Babema. That's all no Pharaoh, no, dear, dear, Sabrina, you are, or better, Kunyan Sono. Ah, not Pharaoh. The Babema penny, no, so, or no, so, so, you couldn't be. Beloved in the Lord. It is not for nothing that God will show us what to do. It is not for nothing that God will give us a message. It is not for nothing that God gives us instruction in his word. All we need to do is to obey. So to recap so what I've talked about so far, if you read Exodus chapter 3, the verse 7 to 10, God saw the suffering, the pain, and the agony, and the affliction of the people of Israel in Egypt. And he chose Moses 
to lead them out. When there are difficulties and there are difficult times and things cannot be done and we don't know what to do, I tell you, God is ready to use somebody to save their situation. And I pray for you that you would also be used as a channel to break through for somebody in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Like I have already recounted, many are the things the Lord did just to prove to Moses, to prove to Moses, to prove to Israel and Pharaoh in order to set the people free, including the 10 plagues and the 10th one, which has to do with the killing of the firstborn sons in the whole land. From Pharaoh, Pharaoh's house, throughout the town, and also even to animals. And the Israelites were exempted. And then in the Exodus chapter 12, we are told of the real story. That is the genesis of the Passover, as we normally speak about in the New Testament. So the Israelites were to kill a lamb. I'm just recapping for those who joined in course of the time. So the Israelites were required to get a lamp without blemish. Without blemish. Kill it and use part of its blood as a sign on the doorpost of each house. So that when the angel killing the son, the firstborn son, when the angel sees or when God passes and he sees, God will pass. God will pass. The machine will say, when I use it, you know, Mojano Eka Samaro, Mojaninti, Wabakaino, when who? Mojaninti, Wabakai, and who? Now, on Yame, and she won't. If you have time, you can go through the, the whole of chapter 12 of Exodus and you get to know the story very well. So, in the verse 29, we are told that at midnight, the Lord struck down all the firstborn in the land of Egypt. From the firstborn of Pharaoh, who sat on his throne, to the firstborn of the captive, who was in the dungeon, and all the firstborn of livestock, livestock, livestock. I am saying I mean the agro. On your meat to me, a year a dia o dipa a chini huwa a year yeno. No dipa chini a end thousand mono. On your meat to me a mebolo so. And Pharaoh rose in the night, he and all his servants and all the Egyptians, and there was a great cry in Egypt, for there was not a house where someone was not dead. In the arena, in the houses of the Egyptians, there was not a house that somebody was not crying. They cried. Then they summoned Moses and Aaron by night and said, Up, go out from among my people, both you and the people of Israel. Go and serve the Lord, as you have said. Take your flocks and your heads, as you have said, and be gone. And bless me also. God had performed nine plagues. Pharaoh. Israel from But one fine answer. Because he said the tenth one, I can't back. I feel afraid. Mosi, any Aaron, I see, help you for Mosa Munyama, Mumwa, Nimukun, Mukakina, Namun Konkosum, Munyamina, Mosi Mokosum, no, 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 Oh, beloved in the Lord, God has a plan. And when he comes mm -hmm. to save his people, no one can withstand it. Why would the blood be used on the post? It seems to have the, the destroy. It seems to me that it has the destroying power or influence on whatever will enter the house to do the killing. So that, so that the blood was a sign that God was protecting them that God was with them, that God had come to their deliverance and their salvation. And I pray that we will always see that that blood, animal blood, that is why we cannot play with the blood of Jesus. There is power in the blood because there is life in the blood. There is life in the blood. The blood carries life. And quite a woman, Mojanu mo, Mojani mo, Mojani mo, Natumi wo. Hallelujah, Mojani mo, 
moja ni mo na tu mi wo 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 jesus christ moja ni mo eti don't play with the blood when you wake up drink the blood wash with the blood eat the blood smell the blood Soak yourself in the blood. Soak the family in the blood. Soak your business in the blood. Because there is power. The efficacy of the blood of Jesus Christ cannot be underestimated. There is no power beneath the earth, beneath the earth, above, in the sea, beneath, anywhere that can surpass the blood and the power that it carries. And I'm talking about the blood of Jesus Christ. The sight of the blood stay above the door and outside the world prevent evil from entering so when you also soak yourself in the blood of jesus you are soaked in the protective hand of god it was to make the beginning of a new life so the blood at that time marked the beginning of a new life for the israelites it was the beginning of deliverance may god in a time like this as we celebrate jesus christ again come to your aid and deliver you from every calamity. One could deduce that their deliverance was not as a result of their righteousness or as a result of their manipulations by the blood of the lamp as they were instructed to do. One needs to be obedient in order to enjoy the blessings in full measure. What was this they needed was to be obedient to the instruction and apply the blood. In our time today, Christ is the lamp of God, the Passover lamp. If they kill the lamp, you see, let me tell you, there came a time when the Israelites left Egypt. When they pass over from that, from that the, the, the Egyptian land to the land God had purpose for them. We free as I say no. What do we come and pass on? Echo as I say, Papa no son. As I say, Papa will adjust his yama on the son. Every year, be ano. Now we have celebration. You know, now we have celebration. Ah, yeah, Passover no. Tell rather don't want to. Oh, you won't free and pass on. Any any or house any man you. Now I feel so. Most January we now we move on to January. We the paper extra we born ni jele tembia obi ba ye bonen no na che se ye kum odwan bia ye kum abua bia depending on your social status any senior who was can na woni bia na wo ahon bibi sa no senior wo no na ye de abua abua ku a wo de be boa fore no na wo de ayo but then you realize that a dru be bia na on emu amoja entumi nyen kwa bi o no when it got to the point where the blood of animals could no longer save handolo boski na when it got to the time that the blood of lamb, the blood of goats, the blood of sheep, the blood of cattle could not save again, God sent the Passover lamb, the original Passover lamb, Jesus Christ, to come and die for us. Hallelujah. And you must have and may the Passover lamb, the lamb, ah, or my ye chemu every bonim. The lamp or oh, ye yen free musuomuno. Nia ye denu ye sacrifice na o ye yen free musuomuno. On only Jesus Christ no ankasa. Jesus Christ no ankasa. First Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 7. Cleanse out the old living that you may be a new lamp as you really are on living. For Christ, our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed. For Christ, our lamp over our Passover lamp has been sacrificed. And your name, Jesus Christ, when your Passover lamp, the man who died on the cross, who was sacrificed on the cross, na ni moja pramu yena moja mgu asa asesono. Onu na wadi ni moja apata ma mini umi enu. Hey, kamoro wosiana. Sa papa ini wae adom. Sa papa ini wati ni matere yeni. Sababu pei wamia hukusa ono nyamia yadi yahutu nusuwa 
adin na radi bua ye ni moja no ate ye ho na na dom nso age ye nkwa wonu wadi nkunim ade amaye orobo in a time like this just apply the blood apply the blood the law that takes away the sins of the world john chapter 1 and verse 29 will also describe jesus christ as the lamb that takes away the sins of the world and he said na emu amoja na na epipa nkrofo no bone ya ye de nyamia ya dum o nyamia ya dum o this is what john had to say and john chapter 1 and verse 29 he said the next day he saw jesus coming towards him and said behold the lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world so that the blood of jesus is the only means by which our sins are cleansed by which our sins are forgiven yes mo janu kuto and na won nam so e de jiyem kwa or of na mean shrau by this all humanity are taught that blessings and deliverance into a new life is only through the shedding of the blood on your couple shall is life for by taking them out of that land to the promised land it was deliverance it was a blessing because we were how and on your you were free i had any people are going to say they should not listen to me i'm not my papa being going away or i'm not saying right i'm not see can be an hour see them yet there are so many things that the lord gives to us ah <laughs> yeah you should not in the israel for one of their blessings was the fact that god delivered them from the hand of the Egyptians, Pharaoh and the Egyptians. It was a blessing. And the point I'm making here is that by this, Israel and all humanity are taught that all blessings, let me make it first, first, deliverance and all forms of blessings into a new life is only through the shedding of blood of the lamb without blemish. And you know why a lamb without blemish will be required? Jesus Christ. The lamp over the Passover lamb is a lamb without blemish. And so it was a prophetic assignment that was a prophetic way by which the people of Israel and later Christians will get to know that that lamp that was used in those times you no know, represent the lamp Jesus Christ today, and the blood that was used to mark. To make a sign on the doorpost is the blood of Jesus Christ today, and that gives us victory. That gives us victory. And in Shana Yena or Chia would have any my name, any bam boss from Qua Yena, you move a brave papano. See me, you move a brave papano. It is all because of the shedding of the blood. More than all, more than inti, more than inti, Nanka Yena. The blood of Jesus. And the Bible says that the blood of Jesus speaks of better things than the blood of Abel. Man, Tahanda. And you want to put them to me, you will be. I want to put them to me, you will be. I would have been Jesus Christ to Mojano and the one who didn't say, but you Jesus Christ is the ultimate lamb whose blood was shed once, once and for all. For the remission of sins, to usher us into a new life in Christ. So tell me, you make a wahana say. Those times, when you be a woye, and your fi be a for your woman, as so abu as a wodeko. So if you sin two hundred times in a year and you want to seek forgiveness and you want to sacrifice, then it means that you use two hundred animals. Every year be a woye. Who go for it? Who do go and be go for it? Who do go and go for it every year? But the point I'm trying to make here is that Jesus is the ultimate lamp. Just a netino lamp will be a new The ultimate lamp whose blood was shed on the cross for all, once and for all. Hey, me did say what you are saying as year. His blood was shed on the cross for all, once. For all, once and for all, she said, "Mojano, I am my yinina. Wakatu my yinina. 
What did this attend you as my yena? What good and was my yena? What did you offer my yena? Now, on your meat to me a one more genuino and a genuine quack. And you say, more genty, na me one quack. Oh, yes, you more janity. Na me one quack. Yes, you more janty. Hallelujah. Na me one quack. More janty. More janty. Na me one quack. It is a one quack. More than India. I don't know what I am more than India. I don't know what I am more than India. The blood that was used on the doorpost as a sign so that when the angel of death got there, he passed by, or shed them the midnight after the firstborn sons had been killed, or shed the Israelites into a new life. And so, by the blood of Jesus, we have come into a new life. And this new life is in Jesus Christ. Bible says, he who has the son has life. And he who does not have the son has not life. A war a would have been stressing out or the ma is right for no say one for a booby. The only thing is a booby and who any them moja and for one up now. No kumba for do ho na o chen. Now to meet the woman say, and then your Passover lamp nankasa and your ready is to Christo. Niani moja and my and quadian. Soak yourself in the blood. Drink the blood. <laughs> hey, my mother didn't tell me she. My mother didn't do kind. My mother didn't pit my bush yaso. My mother didn't pit my asa asa so. My mother didn't pit the wiyase. Now only me be come wa, so that God will usher us once again into a new life. He will deliver us, bestow on us blessings and honor, and good tidings of the Lord. Now you be going ready no yam a odi man in cross for. I ready on shout. Not in any material. I see when I see the blood, Exodus chapter 12. When I see the blood in the verse 13, now say me who more than that make them. And the other number, yes, more than what? Yeah, be applied. Yeah, yeah, juman. O kumbo fo huna, nyarwe huna, eni guasi huna, ota huna, adiboni biya huna. On chamun ko because we are covered with the blood of the Lamb, Jesus, the Christ of God. When I see the blood, but the instruction was clear kill a lamb without blemish and use the blood as a sign on your doorpost. If you do that, you are saved. And I want to encourage you and let you know that the good Lord is always with you. Now you would have more than any enam, my more than any adina, a running count, not to any any mutual. I will use Christo to him. Amen. Amen. I feel now join me as we share a word of prayer. We want to thank God. Any more than tea and a young quack. More than in tea and more than with you. We have a new life by His blood. God has ushered us into a new life in the blood of Christ Jesus. Bless the name of the living God. Thank the Lord for us. Lift the voice of prayer. Let us pray. Let us pray. Let us pray. Kabos yanda, ebrandos yande, mantolobos yande, mazuka hande. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the blood. Hey, thank you for the blood of Jesus, the blood that was shed. Thank you, Jesus, that you are our Passover Lamb. Thank you for the blood, the blood that has power, the blood that saves, the blood that protects, the blood that protects, hey, the blood that sustains. We give you all the glory. We bless your name. We honor you. We give you all the praise of God. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood. 
I think the instruction that was given to Israel was that they applied the blood of the lamb they killed on their doorpost. Tonight, we want to appeal to the blood. And we apply the blood of Jesus. Lift a prayer. Father, we plead the blood of Jesus over our lives. We plead the blood of Jesus over our lives. We plead the blood of Jesus over our lives. The blood of Jesus over our lives. The blood of Jesus over our lives. Just apply the blood. Just apply the blood. If you want to drink the blood, drink it. Yes, if you want to use it as a sign on your dog, use it. Head, you want to soak yourself in the blood, soak. You want to soak your family, your businesses, your finances, everything in the blood. Do that. Father, 
the blood all over the world in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I the blood of God. In all the nations of the earth, in the name of Jesus, Father, let the blood speak for him. Father, everybody of God, in this situation, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. If you can see me, he said, I am yet now a classic at Cranwa. Now you could fool more. Who got to Zua, Utimide was a sensor. Pawansa, no, why your son is a Sayus Mudanibi, Sayus Mudanibi, Sabisa, now Bosam Payi, but he said, Everybody is. Everybody is. They say, Pedia Sau Mujano. the power of the blood the efficacy of the blood of jesus is what we are talking about Christo Moja Hallelujah. Enti Christo moja nonko, enti Christo moja nonko. Ne min kwenje ni ma hoto, ne min kwenje ni ma hoto. Mi wu o mi ti asi o, mi wu o mi eje e asi o. Me de mi hon matono so, me de mi hon o matono so. And the senior moja na wadi sign pona nunti ukumbo for the chairman no. Yadi yes moja sign wo pono etifi. Amen. Amen. Yes moja ni asen so diya wo. Amen. Boni biya dulu wa enchem. Amen. Ojami mo ho ba wadi mo jemu. Amen. Ojami no jamu hai kanya enchem also. E radin ti ne di mishero. Wo yes Christo na sidi. Amen. Amen. Thank you very yeah, much yeah. for joining us. Amen. Amen. We will take some few announcements from our brother Mark. 
yo abusia for yadamo ase bebere se otimi ni ye ebo mu eye energy engagement watch na 6:30 ye fiji me na se se nya okwe o mere no so no exactly 1 hour fashion week just sit on the blood today has only just been the beginning the one ye to aso akosi Thursday nya me adom a if you are to and safro make a date with us like and follow the presby page and expect to be a part of this event your ggc nyakopo o wo bi sunku e ma wo ochina en hie mo die no as we just come to the part invite us friends and love us just one hour join us tomorrow evening as we continue this journey in the passion that i yes so as the plan would be brief no ya me ko wa en hie ne ma na on hie ne din abusia for ni asafo a mo bi so ye platform no so to also with our prayer meeting don prayer meeting Tuesday don prayer meeting. join us together as we pray and intercede and cause victory in our lives tomorrow don the time is 5 p.m. And you may be a doma send yet to the best share view for passion with the passing of the blood. Beloved, wherever you watch us from, God bless you once again for being a part of us. And we look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. The video will still remain on the platform. Go ahead and hit the share button. Follow us and check out any of these editions. Yenge Onyankopong and Semu Ishra. Go in peace. Amen. The peace of God and Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen. I soak you in the mighty Amen. blood. May the blood of Jesus speak for you. May the blood of Jesus deliver you from every agony calamity. May the goodness of the Lord be with you always. May the blood of Jesus Christ go ahead of you, be a sign and a mark. That the Lord is still working with you Amen. and may the power of the Holy Ghost overshadow you. When you tell us to Christ of Drumole, catch a down with Smole, the Momocrompo and the Mole, can you fair you see? Amen. 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 God bless you and enjoy. Amen. God bless you too. Amen. Amen. Amen.